A Southeast Iowa legislator shared their eye-opening experience on a recent trip to Israel with KTVL. Our own Maddie Lee has more on what they saw and how it impacts the Hawkeye State. Iowa State Representative Austin Harris was among legislators nationwide invited by the Combat Anti-Semitism Movement to visit Israel. Reflecting on his seven-day tour, Harris shared, We met with one of the survivors of the attack whose mother was kidnapped and taken back into Gaza, unfortunately was killed in Gaza. We went to the site of the Nova Music Festival, which I know has gotten a lot of, uh, a lot of attention, uh, where 360 people were killed, um, folks who were fleeing for their lives, trying to hide underneath vehicles, behind trees, behind rocks, in ditches. Um, some people, the only place they were able to hide was under their dead friend's body. And you don't go there and listen to those stories and see it firsthand and are not moved by what you saw. When asked about perspectives from citizens on the conflict in Gaza, Harris said that the Israelis have tried to protect citizens in Gaza, but... The stats that were given to us was that on average, uh, in, in recent wars, uh, for every one targeted militant killed, there's seven civilians. Right now in this war, it's about a two to one, one to one ratio. So, I mean, war is war. There's gonna be casualties, unfortunately, when it comes to war but Israel is doing their very best to be precise and targeted with their attacks to take out the Hamas government of Gaza. The trip was organized by a coalition aiming to combat anti-Semitism in the West. Locally, communities can emphasize the contributions of the Jewish community. There's ways that we can take action from what we learned in our trip to Israel. I think how do we better educate people? This isn't some you know, far away land with people that don't affect us. It affects all of us, and we have a rich history of them helping us in our own communities. Harris highlighted the contributions of Jewish immigrants in his home county, specifically in business and education in the city of Centerville. In Atumwa, Maddie Lee, KTVO News.